Happy What's in Our Pantry, and today is Cinco de Mayo, so of course we're gonna be doing a take on tacos. So I'm gonna be doing two different things. One, I'm gonna make some quick tacos or tortilla shells, and then I'm gonna make a taco sauce out of things that are just in my refrigerator. So one of the things that is so terrible about making your tortillas is having to make the dough then having to roll do the individual balls then having to roll out each one so this is a no roll tortilla that i'm gonna do so i've got two eggs so basically this makes about two to three tortillas depending on how big you want them so you can s you can just double triple the recipe on how many people that you're feeding so i am for this for right now just gonna make the one serving and I've got my two eggs here put those in here and I'm gonna use almond flour next now if you don't have almond flour and you've got other flour don't sweat it just use use what you have all right so I've got one cup of almond flour here oh I'm not gonna actually do that yet and I need a fork I forgot my fork so I'm gonna get the fork and I'm gonna beat these eggs first with the fork. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the salt in there, about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and about a tablespoon of olive oil I'm gonna throw in there. Okay, now I'm ready to start beating these eggs together. All right, then once you get it nice and mixed together like this, looking good, that's when I'm gonna start mixing in the almond flour. Now the harder, hardest part about this is just trying to get all those little chunks of almond flour all broken up. So it just takes a little bit of mixing. I'm gonna do a little bit at a time here. I'm gonna mix it together. Like I said, you can use whatever flour you have. We have a great cassava flour recipe on our blog. Stephanie, that's on my team. Her and I did a cassava flour cooking with my friends episode. So you can also get that on our YouTube channel if you wanna see how we did that. But I've got a couple of bags of almond flour. So I did not wanna use up my other uh, almond flour that I like to, or other flours that I like to use. So I got that, that's looking really good. Now, every flower is a little bit different. So like I'm throwing this in slowly, you're just gonna wanna make yours slow like this too. Cause if it starts getting too thick, that's no fun. So actually that's all the almond flour I'm gonna add. So I've got maybe an eighth of a cup left in here, not very much, but I'm not gonna mix that together. So what you're looking for is kind of a thick pancake type of, um, not really a dough, but consistency. You're looking for that kind of consistency. So this is getting mixed together really nicely. All right. And you just wanna make sure all those clumps are out of there. All right, so I've got a skillet here. I'm gonna put it on about medium heat. I'm gonna, uh, I already have some cooking oil on there. I'm just using coconut oil on my pan. You wanna make sure it's good and hot. So that way it starts cooking and it doesn't start sticking. I like to use cast iron, and of course, I've got my handle envy already on there, so I don't burn my hand. All right, so I'm gonna put some of this on the pan here, make sure the oil is nice and spread out. All right, and then once it's in there, I'm just gonna kind of flatten it out with my fork, or I have a little spatula over here, I love using those. And you just kind of wanna make sure that it's not too thick, you wanna Kind of just spread it out, help it along. If it's real runny, it makes your job easier. If it's thicker, then you know you have a little bit more work to do. But this is perfect. So while that's cooking, and these don't take long to whip up either. And if you have one of those griddles that you can put a bunch of things on at once, that's perfect because you could do all your tortillas in one take. So next, I'm going to make the sauce that I'm gonna put on our tacos. So I'm starting off with some plain yogurt. You can use sour cream if you don't have yogurt, but I always have yogurt in the fridge because we always use it for breakfast. Then I've got a little bit of lemon juice. So I'm gonna add about half of a teaspoon in here. Not too much. I can always add more if I want to. I'll actually leave it right here. And I'm gonna do about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. I can always add more. That is the key. You can't take away, but you can always add more. All right, so I've got some garlic powder here. This, I, I've mentioned, I think, every single episode that I do because I put garlic and everything, but I also like a lot of garlic. So I'm going to put about half of a tablespoon of garlic powder in there. You can also use fresh garlic. If I do fresh garlic in here, I make it ahead of time so that the flavor can really start melding in there really well. And then my last ingre ingredient is paprika. You are going to use more than you think 
you would need of paprika. I'm gonna do about a tablespoon here. Now, if I put too much, I do have more yogurt, so I could always just spread it out, you know, make a little bit more. And this was about, I'd say, about a half a cup of yogurt in here. Now, if I make a whole lot, then it, no matter how much I make, it's all going to be gone in the night. So I try not to make too much because we'll just sit there and eat more tacos just so we can get this on there. All right, I'm going to check on. This is ready to flip. So it's just like a pancake. It's perfect. So I'm going to flip that over. Let that keep cooking while I keep mixing here. That pancake tortilla over there looks fantastic. And I sometimes will make the regular tortillas, but I've got to have a lot of time being able to do that because it takes a while to roll out everything. And I just don't always have that time. And also, to be honest, I'm just a pretty lazy cook. I like things to be really quick and fast and not have to spend hours and hours making things. And that's kind of how I feel with making tortillas is that you need a, a good amount of time to sit there and make them. All right, so perfect. I'm gonna do a little bit of a taste here. That's delicious. And you can change your seasonings how you want to, you know, depending on how, how you like things. I did not add anything spicy because on our tacos, I'm going to add the Yellow Birds hot sauce, the habanero one that I love so much. So, but you can add spice to it if you want to. Um, also with our tortillas, I've got some spinach and mushroom uh, Burger Fit burgers that I've broken up. That's going to go on our tortillas there. And I went and picked some cilantro from my garden. I cut up an onion. I just have that little mixture here and I'm gonna throw that on top of the tacos. I'm gonna move this other stuff out of our way here. All right, and our tortilla is almost done. So I am gonna get that. And they do stay together pretty well. So this is perfect for those that are doing Whole30 or Keto or paleo and you want the sensation of eating a tortilla but you have to do it without the gluten so this is the perfect way to still stick with your dietary lifestyle but do it in a quick and fast way that all of us are looking for so i'm going to go ahead and get this off you know it looks just like a pancake now if i would have not made it so thick with the almond flour you know you can do less if you want to um, or taking some more time to spread out um, the mixture then it wouldn't have been so thick but i kind of feel like taco bell and some of their specialty like burritos or tortillas tacos whatever they do that's kind of what i feel like when i'm eating one of these is i made something special here and it is a nice little change so i'm gonna put my burger fit burgers on here and had i actually remembered that it was cinco de mayo before this morning then i would have made some rice and pinto beans to throw on this because my boys love their rice and beans on their tacos but you know what they're gonna love this no matter what and i would have still put the burger fit burgers on there basically it would have been the exact same thing that i'm doing now but with the addition of the beans and rice all right so i'm going to add my little cilantro and onion mixture on here it's just such a nice little fresh take on things perfect oh my gosh lunch is going to be so good today all right, and then some of my mixture here. And if you have lime juice, by all means, use your lime juice in place of lemon. I have no limes and I have no lime juice here in the house, so I have to use whatever I have. And then I'm gonna be extra generous with my habanero because like I say every time I use this, is I like it so hot that it makes my nose run. That's how I know it's good and spicy just the way I like it. All right, so I'm gonna fold this up all right and see we've got our burrito here oh it might be a little bit too hot let me taste mm. Mm -mm -mm. that is so good you have to make these tonight you are going to thank yourself and your family is not going to know the difference whenever they're eating a healthier tortilla let us know if you make it and this is what's in my pantry